Hello Python here. Welcome to your sixth Python tutorial. Now, in the last video, we talked about numeric types in Python. We will look at integer, we look at float, and then we look at complex. Now, in this video, we are talking about test types in Python. Okay, so first of all, what are the test uh, data type okay in Python? Okay, so test type is also referred to as strings. Okay, so you would hear of strings in Python. Okay, so when we refer to as strings, we are referring to as test. Okay, so basically, what are tests? Okay, so um, what are strings? Okay, so string uh, comprises of a set of characters, and these characters can contain spaces and then numbers as well. Okay, so there is a way that we denote okay or represent string data type even in an, in numbers. Okay, so there's a way that you can represent numbers even as string data type. So let's see that in action. So over here in my PyCharm, I have a blank. Okay, so my code is blank. Now I can represent my name. Okay, so I can create a variable called name, and then I'm going to store my full name. Okay, so this is a variable called name, and within name, I'm storing this textual data. A string okay in it now notice that these are various characters okay so xt and then so on and then we also have space okay so all these form a string okay all these form a string in python so now how do i know that this is a string okay so we denote string by using these quotations okay so whenever we use these quotations okay we are telling python that whatever that we're representing here is a string okay and then it shall it should be treated as such okay so i can print i'm print a name here okay and then when i run okay it should give me seven a free okay it should give me seven a free okay so i can also have something like my email address okay so i can have my email address okay so where i am going to represent different types of characters okay so let's say I have my email address so I have this as my email address okay and I've stored it in a variable called email okay so here we have I mean alphanumerics okay so we have I mean a measure of letters I mean uh, alphabets and then numbers okay and then we also have this at which is a special uh, character okay so all these form a string okay so so far as i include this in this quotation okay python will treat that as a string so let's say i take off the quotation okay and then it becomes very difficult for python to recognize okay because python cannot treat this as a string because it doesn't have quotation neither can it treat it as a number okay because we have alphanumeric and then some special characters okay so it's very important to note that now i am using double quotes okay so what if i want to um so like the question is that can i use a single code yes you can use a single code okay so i can also use a single code and then it should work fine okay so i'm going to print my email and then let's see what i get so i get my email printed okay so even though i'm using a single code okay so there's no specific okay uh, you're not under any obligation to use a single code or a double code okay it's a matter of preference okay so it's a matter of preference okay but hey sometimes what if you have a I mean a, a, a quoted word within I mean a string okay so then there's a way we handle that okay and then we'll be dealing with that when we are treating strings okay um in advance okay but for now I'll just say that if let's say I have let's say 225 in quotes okay using single quote is going to confuse Python okay so when you have a scenario like that then you can make the the outermost quotation okay you can use double and then you can keep the single quotation okay you can keep the quoted word as 
uh, single quotes and then i mean when i run it okay python is able to print to print that for me okay but of course it's it's not really an ideal situation i mean it's not an ideal thing to do okay and then we'll see how to do this thing properly okay in other videos okay okay so all along we've been dealing with single line okay strings so now the question is that what if i have a multi-line string okay which i cannot just represent one um, which I cannot represent on a single line. Okay, so how do we do that? Okay, so let's say I have this as some test. Okay, so test. Okay, okay, and then I want to paste in I mean, a multi line test. Okay, so the way we do that is to use, okay, is to use triple quote. Okay, so you can either use a single quote three times or a double quote three times. So let's say one, two, three. Okay, and then I can paste. I can, sorry. So I can just have this, okay, and then I can paste, okay, my string in it. Uh, so let's say I'll have a break here, okay, and then I'll enter here, okay, and then I'll do this, and then I will also do that, and then I'll do this, okay. So basically what I'm trying to show you, okay, is that no matter how long the test is, okay, you can, you can print it, you know, you can include it in Python using this. I mean three quotes around it so I can also use just a single so one two um, sorry one two three and then I can also use one two and three and then it should work perfectly okay so when I when I print my test okay, when I print my test okay it should work for me fine okay so the last thing that I would also say is that just as we did in the previous data types okay you can also find out the type okay so you can find out the type of your string data okay and then it should tell you that it is a string so a class it should tell you that it, it belongs to a class of string so at this point I've told you that everything in Python okay belongs to a class and this particular data here which is test also belongs to the string class okay okay so just like in the other data types okay where i introduce you to a concept called casting okay so you should be able to also i mean explicitly set that uh, a data okay is a string okay so let's see that in an example so let's say i have age okay is equals to 14. so though it's very obvious that this is an integer type okay i can use the idea of casting okay to convert this data okay into a string okay so let's use this okay so let i'll just store okay so i'll just store this i'll just create a variable called um let's say string h str h okay and then i would say that this is string h okay so this is string h and this string here is a function okay it's a function okay so when i print type okay when i print type um str underscore h okay so let's see what i get automatically okay so i'm told that this is a string it belongs to the string class okay so even though this is an integer i have cast it into a string okay guys so um that is all about textual data strings okay to be precise and then we'll see you in the next video so in the next video we get to talk about sequential data types in python